Here we have the PlayStation 3 controller, also known as the 6-axis controller. It has these analog sticks, and those things have a rubber coating. That rubber coating has become sticky and is starting to go off. So what we need to do is either you can change these sticks all along, or you can do as what I'm going to do, is strip the coating off them. So we'll begin by removing the five screws in the bottom. Now that we've taken these apart, we can wash the top and bottom part with no issue. We can also go ahead and wash the, the D-pad and the buttons, because they also have some grime on them. I'm not going to bother with the shoulder buttons that didn't immediately come off, since they're not actually that dirty. But since these things did come off, I'm just going to wash them. To do the shoulder buttons, you would have to undo this. But since this is mostly about these two, I'm not going to. Now, these two are going to go into a sealed bag with some isopropyl alcohol and into the ultrasonic cleaner. And let's see how that handles it. We'll squeeze out as much air as possible and then seal it. This way you have to use a lot less isopropyl alcohol in the cleaning process and you will just fill the rest of the ultrasonic cleaner with warm water. If you don't have one then you can substitute a rag and you can just rub the surface of the the um, analog stick and the stuff will come off but it's a lot more work so I'm going to do it this way. While the analog sticks are having their spa day we're going to clean the other parts the more traditional way with some soap, water and a toothbrush. Let's put these away. There we go, all parts cleaned. Now I just have to rinse them and not lose them in the sink because some of the parts are really small, so be careful. Now that we've washed the other parts, we'll just let them dry.
Here we have the analog sticks that have had their little spore day. Let's take them out. We'll just reseal the IPA and we can later reuse it for something else. And here we go. Here we have the analog sticks. I'm going to go ahead and rinse these up underwater. There we go. We'll then dry them. And there we go. Now, now that these have been handled, I'm going to take off my glove and touch them. And the rubber is no longer sticky. Now, usually these kind of rubber things, if you use IPA, it'll peel off the stuff. It starts to degrade. But at least in this case, for some reason, the six axis analog sticks when submerged in IPA and used in an ultrasonic cleaner, will clean off the stickiness and these are like new. So now the only thing I need to wait is for the other parts to dry and then I can reassemble this thing and this is essentially as good as new.
So this part is particularly annoying when you're reassembling the controller. The shoulder buttons need to be in the exact right position, otherwise the controller won't close. And of course the piece that's between the top and the bottom shoulder button will constantly come off. And if that's even a millimeter in the wrong place, the thing won't close. If you need to use force, it's in the wrong position. Take the thing apart and reassemble. There we go, it has been reassembled. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time.